the president and CEO of the American Film Institute, Bob Gazzali. Welcome. Welcome to closing night of AFI Fest 2022 and this, the United States premiere of The Fablemans. Yes. Yes, in this weary world, we are about to see a new film by Steven Spielberg. And after the movie, you will meet the cast. This is a gift, and what a gift to end such a spectacular week at AFI Fest. But before we unwrap it, allow me a moment to say thank you. First, to our partners in presentation tonight, AFI trustee Donna Langley, her talented team at Universal, and our friends, if not family, at Amblin. Yeah. To the premier sponsor of AFI Fest, they are longtime supporters of the arts and longtime supporters of AFI. We're honored to have them with us tonight, AFI trustee Lori Lee, Bill Mosley, and our friends at AT&T. I also want to give a shout out to our festival team because I don't do this. Five days a week, over a hundred movies. It is a tireless army led by our senior programmers, Malene Khan and Eric Moore, the amazing Julie Goodwin, Chris Merrill, and a cast of thousands. Please help me say thank you. And perhaps most importantly, we thank the filmmakers, the storytellers who have gathered from around the world to make this week one worthy of the art form. Many of them are here tonight. Please help me thank them too. Which brings us to tonight. For those of you unfamiliar, AFI's primary education initiative is the AFI Conservatory, a two-year MFA program with a campus high in the hills of Hollywood. We're proud to say that this year the conservatory has been named again the number one film school in the nation. We're proud of that, but we're more proud of the success of our alumni. And tonight in particular, because you should know that the film you're about to see was photographed by a graduate of the AFI, cinematographer Janusz Kaminski. The film is co-edited by an alumna, Sarah Brocher. And the film has not one, but two members of the art department, supervising art director Andrew Max Kahn and assistant art director Caitlin Wheelock. Now, there is a fifth AFI alum in the film. He is likely our most famous AFI alum, but I'm going to keep him a surprise for now. The seeds for the AFI Conservatory were planted over 50 years ago, and though many can and should take credit for its success, there is only one man who can rightfully claim to be the inspiration for it all. And he is here tonight, the founding director of the American Film Institute, George Stevens, Jr. <laughs> and now it is time to meet the maestro. He is a trustee of the American Film Institute and has been since 1986. He is the recipient of this organization's highest honor, the AFI Life Achievement Award. That was in 1995, which makes him the first person to do a second AFI Life Achievement Award. 
Words fail when describing his impact. So let's try memory. For it was he who invited you and me and the world to soar across the sky on a bike with a friend from another world. It was he who makes us think twice about that enjoyable ocean swim. <laughs> it was he who stamped our passport as we traveled around the world with a whip in one hand and our hearts in our throats. Dinosaurs, Devil's Tower, D-Day. And it was he who created a living memorial to heroism amidst the horror of the Holocaust. Who would we be without the memory of these movies? As a people, as a nation, and as a world. Thankfully, we do not have to wonder, for he is here. And tonight, he is here for you with a tale that is both personal and profound. Ladies and gentlemen, Steven Spielberg. great greeting, and um, on behalf of the entire cast and crew of the Fablemans, uh, many of whom are here tonight, I want to thank you for such a great welcome, and it's always exciting, part of this festival, to be part of this festival, Bob Ghazali and his colleagues uh, at the AFI produce flawlessly uh, year to year, so thank you, Bob, so much, and thank you for that incredible introduction, oh God, I was out there sweating and my wife was hanging on to me and and then all these wonderful words from Bob about all the things I've done and it um, felt like I was dead but I wasn't uh, <laughs> so, <laughs> so, so look, even, even though I have premiered so many films here at the TCL Chinese Theater uh, and I feel I have left more body parts than just my hand and footprints and cement out in front of this place. But tonight feels completely different. And maybe it's because The Fablemans has been a different experience for me. Uh, starting back more than a few years ago when my co-writer and co-producer and dear, fr dear friend Tony Kushner urged me to consider telling a story. Yes, Tony's here. Tony was the one who urged me to consider telling a story based on the real people and the real events that influenced so much for the rest of my life. Or maybe uh, this is uh, different because this is a character-driven story that I can only hope will be relatable to anyone who ever grew up in a complicated family, and there is no such thing as a family that's not complicated. So I hope this is also a bit of a mirror held up to all of you. Um, but even with all of the new experiences along the route to tonight's U.S. premiere, there are a few constants that make my films and nights like this possible. Uh, a whole group of people, friends and collaborators who are truly family to me, and I would like to mention just a few, uh, beginning with our partners at my longtime ancestral home, Universal Studios, Thank you, Donna Langley, Jeff Schell, Jimmy Horowitz, Peter Kramer, and Michael Moses. Thank you. And I, along with Jeff Small and everyone at Amblin Partners and my producer, producing partner, Christy McCosco, <laughs> am grateful for your guidance and support and the amazing work that your team does on our behalf. Um, 
I may be up here introducing Fablemans, but here in the theater is the cast and crew who let me lead them on this crazy trip down memory lane, but also who helped lead me through the most personal journey I've ever been on as a filmmaker. And now I want to recognize two artists, just two, who have made immeasurable contributions, not only to my work, but to film history. And please, the first is my editor, Michael Kahn. Who has shaped my work and has always been a teacher and a sounding board and a brother. We have been together for 45 years and 31 films, and I don't think either of us has any idea how many hours we have spent together, but who's counting? Michael, thank you. And finally, an icon, an artist, a trailblazer, and a mentor. And other than my parents and my wife, Kate, who is here with me tonight, and who is my heart, and thank goodness always two steps ahead of me, this person I'm about to call out is probably the single biggest influence on me as a filmmaker, not to mention the generations of audiences that he has left inspired and enthralled and this year marks our 50th anniversary of working together, 50 years and 29 musical scores, John Williams. being here and I am excited to share the fablements with you so let's get the show on the road thank you see you later from the screen to the stage please welcome Judd Hirsch Michelle Williams. And their director, Steven Spielberg. And I'm going to bring out my co-writer, co-producer, the amazing and inimitable Tony Kushner. And my producer of everything I do in so many ways, uh, Christy Mercosco Krieger. My sisters, Ann, Sue, and Nancy. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. And, um, and since this is the last night of the festival, I think all that's left for me to say is, uh, that is a wrap. Good night, everybody. Yeah.